Hey folks, happy you're welcome back to the channel. Thank you for watching. This episode I'm gonna work at Mrs. GSX R uh, 750 from 98. So um, now the engine is really cold. Now I'm gonna open up the the side and uh, the top to find out what's going on with the timing because I guess it's good with the tensioner. I hope I'm guessing well. And actually I was preparing already for a longer period to replace the wheel bearings front and the back I have got the set already that I'm gonna do so first uh, I just gonna open up check out the chain and the tensioner and actually I did uh, look uh, back at my uh, service log uh, she has been checked the valve clearance uh, 10,000 kilometers ago and according to user manual should check every 24,000 so that still should be good actually because uh, uh, the measurements were all good only one cylinder was on the low minimum but the rest of them everything uh, one one uh, valve only one valve was on the uh, lowest minimum and the rest of them was on the middle uh, value but just in case because it's going to be open i'm going to check that one as well and then uh, see what's going to be needed now the camshaft are exposed and um, actually the chain it has some side movements but that's it's i think it's okay because it needs to move freely but i cannot lift it up so i don't think the chain is stretched but i'm gonna rotate it on the marks and then uh, take a look on the tensioner itself unfortunately it's quite deep I don't know do I gonna have access for it or not. I may gonna have to release the coolant again, but I hope I can make without that. So I have to open the bottom with this big key and here's a knot with that I can rotate the crankshaft to the right position. Now everything set on marks. The lower side it has to line up these two and it's in good. And there is a small arrow which should be lined up with the top of the cylinder head which is a little bit out, but it's uh, not too much actually. So that means the chain has been stretched, but it's really, really small. Uh, try to adjust the camera in the right line. So yeah, it's really tiny actually. And that's still, still okay. Still can uh, keep going with it. And another mark is good as well, just I cannot really, make a video about it and actually the chain has uh, it's really tight so i cannot move it i cannot pull it up so it's not moving just a little bit on the side but that's uh, i guess it's a little bit normal so now what we left only the tensioner so it seems the problem is not big just the tensioner itself so now i have to take it off it's really on the low bottom but i'm gonna try to do my best so now i did check the valve clearances already uh, only this one valve, one from the from the first cylinder, is just under the limit, but that's too small. It's like should be 0, 010 and it's 0, 08. And then yeah, it's uh, only that one. All of them are in spec, and that's not too big a, a problem. That's really small one, so I'm not gonna open up everything for that. Uh, and I'm gonna replace in the future the timing chain. Then I'm gonna adjust that one as well. But that. Uh, means also the valve uh, clearance or could not be the problem of the throttling noise so now we're gonna reach down to the tensioner itself now actually the tensioner itself is out which has a, a spring loaded uh, actually a spring which is uh, hold it on tight but i didn't notice any problem i couldn't push it back even if i try to push with my weight it's not moving back only thing was the middle of the 
spring was a little bit out so i really don't know but yeah uh, i can't find something else what could cause this rattling noise so i gonna replace this one so i gonna order a new of these new gaskets then because it's open already and then uh, yeah uh, i'm gonna place the order and meanwhile then i'm gonna get busy with the bearings and with the air intake gonna fix the left side because that i couldn't put back so let's keep going i did hook back uh, the front together to do not lose any parts and do not get any dirt into the engine and the rear wheel is already out uh, it's gonna be the easiest one because on this side i just can hammer it out but this one actually has not enough room and uh, yeah i don't i cannot hook in the pulley so i'm gonna try to hammer it out first to the another side or this side to get some gap be able to pull it out hopefully it's gonna work wish me luck luckily success i've been able to pull them out and uh, insert the new one already and uh, i think they have been replaced because they are closed on both sides and uh, this is mostly aftermarket parts like this because the original is one side open and now even i did hit in maximum both side the bearings the spacer has some free play so uh, maybe it's not the right size or i don't know but yeah we'll see now luckily this part is complete can go back to the bike and move at the front one now the rear end is complete and to be honest it seems smoother but maybe it's just a uh, possible that it has been replaced and that's why i think it's better and what i forgot to mention i noticed I, I got to find out the bike has no this reflection plate which is in some countries it's really important so if i would go with the bike to another country i would get some trouble with the police so i did um, get a brand new as well now it's attached as well so i think now the bike has everything what's supposed to have from the factory plus the extra on the voltage meter and yeah the uh, the license plate holder also should need some care but that i'm gonna do it another time so now the rear end is complete now i can move at the front wheel now the front wheel is out already but actually it looks even worse than the rear one because it has not even uh, any edge to the spacer so i not even know where i can uh, uh, hit it to try to push to another side it's definitely gonna be a challenge but i gonna try to find out something well luckily i've been able to pull it out unfortunately i had to get some really old-fashioned thing i did weld a little piece into the inner race so where i've been able to put my uh, extension to be able to hit it out so yeah it's all trick but it's work luckily but this one it's probably from factory even the yellow grease and the one side open the bearing it's probably from factory but now i'm just gonna push out the other side and actually can put in the new one with the seals and the wheel can go back to the bike already now finally the wheel is complete the both new bearings are in and the uh, seal dust the uh, dust seals as well now i'm gonna put her back to the bike but uh, when, uh when I gotta put back, I'm not gonna talk it down yet because I'm gonna wash the bike first because from the grease could flying around and should, could get some of the discs so that's why I'm not gonna use the brake yet just uh, gonna wash the bike and then after I'm gonna torque it so now she's back on her feet and uh, yeah, she's gonna stay like this for a while because I don't know when I'm gonna get the new tensioner and a few gaskets I'm gonna swap on the top as well so yeah, I'm going to place the order, hopefully it's going to be quick. So that's it for this episode guys, thank you for watching, if you liked it, see you in the next one. Bye bye.